Well, good evening, everybody. Welcome to day 60 of my carnivore diet. Um, I need to stop saying, um, anyway, tonight was, well, tonight I went out to celebrate our, my 20th wedding anniversary with my wife. So that was really special and a really good evening. And one of the things that I wanted to do is really try and be careful and, and not be too outside the boundaries of the diet. But I did want to celebrate a little bit and I wanted to take some time and we wanted to take some time to to celebrate for my dad as well. So what I ended up doing today was, well, first of all, macro. So basically no change from yesterday, essentially. About the same amount of sleep. I didn't have as many steps. I did hit my step target for today because we were walking around London quite a lot this evening. But I, and calories actually weren't too bad either. So what we did is we actually, I was quite strict on the diet during the day. Didn't have too much to eat, was really good. Just a little bit of coffee this morning. And then we went into London and went to a barbecue place, which was really good. So I had some burnt ends and I had some barbecued ribs, which were okay. They weren't the best. I was a little disappointed in that. But what I was really happy is that I pretty much stuck to the diet. I had some prawns as a starter and we did get a couple of glasses of Prosecco to have. And I took probably three sips out of mine and that was it. I wanted to have something to celebrate. I wanted to, you know, we wanted to have a toast and we wanted to, you know, celebrate the time um, and and our time together. But, and I wanted to do that, but I didn't want to go overboard. So I had a little bit, a small amount. I was able to enjoy that, but I don't feel terrible about any anything that I had. So I did have a little bit of ice cream. Again, just a single scoop of ice cream, but again, high quality Italian gelato. So not really, you know, it's not the cheap crap that you buy from the grocery store. And so I feel okay about that. We'll see. I, it doesn't even matter. It's a one-off celebration. And sometimes you have to celebrate. And what's really interesting, I think, is the way I think about this now is that this isn't a diet. This is just, it's how I choose to eat. And I've seen a couple of videos along the way where other people have talked about it sort of being a lifestyle. It's not a diet. It's just how I choose to eat. It's nothing special. It's just what I want to do. And if I want to choose to eat something else, then I can choose to eat something else. And I can't, I can't beat myself up over that. And I think... Some of that's come from the last few days where I've had the really strong cravings and just to comfort eat, to kind of console myself. And I haven't done that. And the way I've been able to control it is that simply that I, that's not what I want to do. So even when I want to console myself with something to eat, I'm deciding that I want to do something different. And that's been really good. But what it does is it frees me up a little bit now to just think, well, yeah, I have, I can make the decision if I want to have a teeny bit of Prosecco or if I want to have a scoop of ice cream on a special occasion, I can do that. And do you know what? It's not going to kill me to have that one little bit. And particularly because it's dairy and I'm pretty good with dairy. So I do feel... Because I do these videos and I know people are watching them and I have a few, you know, subscribers now and sometimes I feel like, you know, if I say, oh, I had a bit of ice cream or oh, I had some peanuts or oh, I had this, that I'm letting you guys down. But at the end of the day, I'm not letting myself down and I'm doing the best I can. But again, I think every once in a while you have to be able to do what you want. And this is the point of living this way, is if I'm living this way all the time and I 
then I can eat things in moderation every once in a while when it comes up. If I go to a party and I want to have a little bite of something, or if I want to have a bite of, I don't know, cake, I can have a bite of cake. Just don't eat the whole fucking cake, right? Like, that's kind of what it needs to be. So it's, I, I need to get to the point where I can be okay with that. And I felt pretty okay with it tonight. So that was good. Doesn't mean I'm going to go and do it tomorrow, but it was nice to have that just to have a little bit of a break. And then off we go. So we're back. Tomorrow is the first day of March. So it will be when I weigh in in the morning and get everything together, then I'll have sort of the numbers for February. And then I will this weekend start to pull together uh, an overview of month two and what I've learned in month two and then over the, the two month period. This was my original goal was to do the diet for a couple of months and then see where I was and maybe do a blood test. What I might do is push that out to the end of March because then it's the first quarter. So I can say first quarter, here are the results and here's some blood work to go with it. And we probably, even if I do the blood work at the end of March, it'll take a few days, probably a few weeks to come back. But we can check into that when it happens. The other thing I was thinking about doing this month was to not weigh myself every day or at least not record the weight so that I can see it. I can do it on my phone and my scale so that it will record the weight and then I can go back and get it later. But that was something that I thought might be interesting because everybody keeps saying stop weighing yourself and just get on with it. So I thought, okay, let's try a month where I don't weigh myself. It's going to be interesting to see how I feel about that. And, um, but yeah, I think I might try that. So I'll weigh myself tomorrow on the first day, or should I? It's the first day of the month. Maybe we'll just go with month two to today. And then I'll have it, but I won't write it down. But I'll record all the other macros like normal. And then at the end of the month, I'll at least have them all on my phone and I won't have to look at it. And then I can go back and do it later. Seems fair. So, yeah. Okay, we'll do that. Anyway, um, had a good night. Feeling a little bit better, not so sensitive um, anymore. So the sort of comfort eating thing is is diminishing really, and we should be able to get back to normal now. I think I I expect that we'll just be back on an even keel, and we will crack on to see what happens in March. So thanks everybody for watching, and I'm now going to do this and try and get some sleep early, so I'm up and ready to hit the gym tomorrow. But I will speak to you guys tomorrow. Cheers. Bye-bye.